Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are adding a 2.5 inch SSD to our Lenovo S145 laptop. So here is what we are going to use today. We have our M 3x3 screws, we have our plastic pry tools, we have our SSD, and a PH1 screwdriver. So let us put this aside and let's get to it. So we are going to flip the laptop and we are going to grab our PH1 screwdriver so that we can remove the 10 bottom screws. So the first row has four short screws along the speakers. I'm also going to put a photo to show you uh, the screws organized by row so that you'll get a better idea. So yeah, four short screws for this first row right here. Now for the second row, we have three longer screws. All right, for the third row, we have another three screws. So these are also longer screws. All right, so let me show you a photo of the screws. So the first row are four short screws, and then the second row are three longer screws, and the third row are three longer screws as well. Now we are going to grab our plastic pry tool and we are going to gradually open up the laptop. So what I like to do is usually start around the back and I gradually make my way around the laptop. I make a few passes until I feel like the cover is pretty much off. But it's really up to you. I know a lot of people have different techniques. Uh, I like to take my time. So usually I have a really thin plastic prying tool and a thicker one. And I feel like that just kind of makes it easier for me. There it looks like, uh, there we go. So that's the bottom cover. So we have opened up this laptop before when we upgraded the RAM last time. So now we are going to disconnect our battery. So I like to use a plastic prying tool for this and I go to the center and the sides, but it's really up to you. There's uh, many ways to do it. Uh, it just feels easier to me using this plastic prying tool. So once we have it disconnected, I will give you a close up as well. So here is what it looks like. So I was just trying to grab it here, over here, and on the other side until it loosened up. It's much easier now because uh, you know we, we, we've done this before. Now we are going to remove the four screws for the SSD caddy. So these two screws on the left are actually M2 by 2.8 screws. It says so on the caddy. I'll show you a photo as well. And then we have two longer screws here on the right. I guess the reason why is because it's holding the battery and the caddy in place. So, alright, so now that we have that, we just remove it. So here's what we have. Nothing fancy. So like I said, on the left are M2 by 2.8 screws, and then you have the longer screws on the right. It didn't say um, anything on it, so now we have our SSD. And this is where we apply our M 3x3 screws. So like I said, the M 3x3 screws uh, were not included in the laptop. I had to get my own. So feel free to use uh, screws of a similar size as well because I'm sure something similar to the M 3x3 screws would work on this. I just feel like that's what I got used to. So that's what I usually use for SSDs. So I'm going to put four M 3x3 screws to secure the SSD in the bracket. Easy peasy. All right, so now we can grab our laptop. We just have to gently lift the battery and we can place and connect our SSD at the same time. So I'm gonna gently lift the battery and then we are going to connect the SSD. Nice. So the battery's on top. 
So I'm going to use the two longer screws again to secure it in place. And then we're going to use the two M2 by 2.8 screws as well on the left side. Let me give you a photo of uh, the uh, two short screws as well. That's how I knew the size of the screws. So over here on the left, you can see M2 by 2.8 apparently is the size. So that's how I knew. Now we are going to reconnect our battery here. Just going to gradually push it in. Nice, easy peasy. Then we can return our bottom cover. All right, so once it's gently closed up, we can return our 10 bottom screws. So three long screws on the third row. Oh, by the way, big, big shout out to the comments. Uh, we're going to initialize the SSD, by the way. We're going to turn it on and initialize it. But uh, yeah, big shout out to the comments for mentioning GPT because uh, I'm pretty old school. So I got so used to um, formatting SSDs in MBR. So you guys will see uh, later, but uh, I'm going to go with GPT from now on if I can. So on the second row, we also have three longer screws. And then the first row are the four short screws. All right, so far so good. So let us turn on the laptop. So it booted up fine. So what we are going to do is we are going into create and format hard disk partitions. So once you open this, it will initialize the SSD. So it's going to show this. So I'm going to pick up pick GPT. So once again, shout out to the comments for uh, mentioning that. So I'm going to click OK. Awesome. Now we can format the new SSD. I'm going to right click it, new simple volume. I'm going to go next. And then I'm going to go next. And then I'm going to assign it just the default letter and I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to go with PNY, but feel free to name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to go next. I'm going to press finish. Now we it will recognize the SSD. So you can see, let me show you in this PC what it looks like. So it looks like it has about 111 gigabytes of storage for the 120 gigabyte SSD. So as you can see right there, so I do hope this helps you out. Thank you for watching everybody. Take it easy.